Good morning, everybody. This is Sarah with the Light of Amana, and I want to talk about acceptance today. <sighs> acceptance. Acceptance is something Amana has been talking a lot about lately. And this action of acceptance is an expansive love action. And what that means is that when you imbue acceptance from your heart, you are transferring, switching, and changing energy. So as an energetic being, you have powers of creation and you're able to change your perception and change your reality with not only your thoughts, but your expressions of emotion. So when life comes at us with uncomfortable experiences, when people trigger us emotionally, um, there are several things that happen. When we um, encounter this emotional experience and we let the emotion consume us, we are in a contracted state and we are um, forgetting um, or we're almost in a daze, an emotional daze. That emotion has consumed us and it becomes us. So when we are in our higher light, we are removed or we are above that which is emotional, right? When we're in the light of oneness, the only emotion is love. But when we're incarnated in this humanness, in this sea of humanity, we're here to experience not only love, but all of the avenues that lead us back to love. So in this creation space of separation, we are on a constant journey and return to love. So in essence, you incarnated to have emotional experiences, to be on that high and low, to be in that push and pull, to play this duality game, to further understand the light of who you are. And every time you have an emotional experience, emotions are expressions of energy that serve a purpose, they're a tool to help you navigate and understand hidden aspects of self. Sometimes something unexpectedly resurfaces or surfaces. Oh, that's uncomfortable. I didn't know that was there. You can use the light of acceptance to surrender to emotional experiences and transmute them instead of becoming them and forgetting who we are. Right? Sometimes when we're so angry, it's like we become another person. Essentially, you're becoming anger. You are transferring into an energetic creation of anger. If you'd like to learn how to experience emotions without becoming emotions, Amana teaches that the best way to understand this is from a place of acceptance. Now, I had the realization today that this can seem foreign and strange, accepting that I'm angry, welcoming my anger, accepting um, that I'm feeling anxiety. Hmm, that feels a little strange. My natural inclination would be to not accept that. I don't want to be anxi anxiety ridden. <laughs> I don't want to be angry. So if I think of accepting that, that means that I'm accepting that I'm an angry person? Well, it sounds a little strange. And the reason why is because as a species, we have evolved to flee or fight anything that's uncomfortable, that flight or fight reaction to survive. So you're no longer in this, <laughs> this danger state where you have to survive for survival mode. Um, you can recognize the humanity within you that is wanting to fight what you're feeling or fleeing from with acceptance. I accept that I'm afraid to encounter what I'm feeling. Hmm. I accept that in this moment I'm angry. That's okay. Hmm. No judgment. I accept that I feel nervous. Hmm. Instead of, I don't want to feel nervous. This is a contractive energy. 
you are nervous, you are experiencing that motion, but you don't want to experience that emotion. So you're creating a separation. If you welcome this nervous energy or this anxiety, if you welcome this anger, in that moment of accepting what you're feeling, you're transferring and transmuting the energy so you no longer need to experience. The action of acceptance brings surrender. It's immediate. It's a universal law and principle. The energetic action of love and acceptance is expansive. The desire to push away, to forget, is contractive. Because as we experience and have emotional experiences and honor them for what they are, experiences here to help us learn, we are changing our perspective. We no longer become victim to what we're feeling. We become an observer of what we're feeling, but we can only become an observer of what we're feeling through the love action of first accepting what we're feeling. So the next time you feel emotionally triggered by someone, uncomfortable, the next time somebody pushes your buttons, uh, I want you to imagine this person, imagine this feeling. I want you to use breath, that pattern of breathing, that energetic rhythm is what's going to connect you to source and the center of who you are through breath, imagining that situation. And instead of wanting to not feel it, I want you to feel it through acceptance. And then I want you to bring your light around this situation expansively like a giant hug, breathing, bringing it into your light body. Imagine you're breathing it in through your nose and as it comes into you through your heart you accept it i accept this for what it is i know that this emotional experience is teaching me something about myself i am now ready to surrender and let it go so it's that love action of acceptance and wholeness and return to self that will help you transfer and transmute and surrender action to then become an observer and to see things in a different light and say, that's why I'm experiencing this. I didn't know this part of me existed. And now that I know, I can surrender to this emotion instead of becoming this emotion. So I am not angry anymore. I am observing the emotion of anger as a tool for my own growth. Ah, I know this sounds difficult and strange, but you are most capable of this, most capable of this. Breath, acceptance, and then surrender. I hope this was helpful. Remember, the light of who you are is always perfect, even when you're angry, even when you judge someone. There's always a chance to return to the love in you. And that's what emotions are teaching you, even the most uncomfortable ones. Ah, breathe into that. I hope this was helpful again. Have a most beautiful day. Chiki ha from the light of Amana and from Sarah to your heart. From my heart to your heart. Thank you.